Okay, so we've got our dough all put together, kneaded, and all that good stuff, so we've got a good mass here. All right, and now how you store it in your fridge, okay? And actually, I need one more thing. So you're going to need uh, something to coat. You want to put transfer this into a new bowl because uh, this will just stick and get really gross. So, uh, but before you put it in the bowl, you want something to uh, coat the inside so it doesn't, you'll have an easier time removing it. Okay, so I can, I just usually use butter, all right, and just take the butter and just smear it on the inside a little bit. So just expose some and then smear away just like that. And uh, just kind of get up on the sides. And do remember this is yeast in there, so it will get bigger as it sits in your fridge. So you want to go higher than, than it is right now on the bowl. Okay, and now that we got that, we're just going to take the dough and just transfer it right in and kind of push it down. This is to help air um, so the air doesn't come up and uh, puncture your dough there. Let's set that aside. And now, you know, wipe your hands a little bit, take plastic wrap and then you want to cover it like so and actually press it into the dough. Okay, so you have some extra. And again, this is to help seal it. Yeah, just like that. So you expand it over the bowl a little bit and press it into the dough, just like this. Okay, so that helps seal it up so, again, air doesn't get into the dough as well because that'll actually make it kind of crusty. It's okay if that happens, though, you, I mean, a little bit because you'll just trim it the next day. And remember, this needs to be stored in your fridge overnight.